Hi everyone. This will be for level two students. This is the test 2017 to 18. I know you have uh, some of you guys have already done the test and sent me through email, but I think it's better than I explain everything and redo this test for you to see, to watch, to understand better. You will receive a test like this. You know, when you got the paper, first thing you have to do is write down all the information that you need to fill up at the very first second. For example, this is, you need to write down the name. So, you know what, there are four papers, then you have to write down your name four times. So, for example, this test will be for, uh, uh, who is that going to be? Maybe EQ, Fu with Oscar. Okay, U I G Y, right? Oh, I'm sorry, U I K U Y U Q Q I. Fu. Sorry, I'm still learning your official name. And the date. Oh yeah, write down four times. Y U Q I. Fu. Like that. Continue. Y U Q I. Oops. Okay, write down four times. You need to finish this at the very first seconds. Otherwise, once the judge cannot find one of your paper, you get trouble. Okay, next, write down the date. The auditioning day will be two, February 5th, 2022. Here, you need to write down teacher's name. Miss Jessie, okay? J-E-S-S-I-E, -S -S -E, my last name, L-O. Association, Cap County Music Teacher Association. So CCMTA. Now, you can go ahead and listen to ear training. We actually have this done during the course, but I will make another new ear training for you to uh, get more practice. And then you can receive the voice memo through the email. Uh, ask your parents. Okay, now let's skip this first. For this video, I mainly want to help you in the real part. You will receive or you can request a scratch paper like this. And if they don't give to you, ask for. You don't have to train this back to the uh, judge chair, the, the theory chair. However, uh, you see the keyboard diagram so small you can draw on your own and you will also receive five lines like this five five musical staff lines like this they are small it's okay as long as you are able to read when you receive the scratch paper after you done the ear training first thing you have to do quickly finish your circle of fifth in like a two minutes within two minutes. So I will do this, okay? Make a circle. If it's not perfect wrong, that's okay. Look at how I do. Zero here, three here, three here, six here. We don't need six. For level two students, you don't have to. But uh, sorry. And three shops, one shop, two shops, four shops, five shops. One flat, two flats, three flats, four flats, five flats, and six could be shop or flat. And five shops here, seven flat. Five flats here, seven shops. You might not need the bottom three. Okay, now continue. Write this down. Fat, cat, gets dizzy after eating box. This is the order of shop sign. And this is the order of flat sign. Now write down the circle of fifth for its key signature. Fat, starting one flat, okay? Fat, cat, gets dizzy after eating, no more. Go to two flats after eating box. Box with a flat sign. This is A and E. Now you reverse. E flat, 
an A flat. That's all. <clears throat> so let's quickly move on this. Oh, write the order of shops or flats using capital letters. For the real part, it's very important for you to read <clears throat> the question carefully. Okay? And you might want to uh, underline the key words for your answer. Shops, same thing. Fa, ca, gats, daisy, after, eating, box. Flat sign is the back word of the shop sign. Then I do here. Check me. Fat, cat, gets dizzy. After eating box. B E A D G C F. B E A D G C F. Perfect. Next. Identify this major key signature using capital letters. Again, use upper later, okay? Uppercase later. With the two shop sign from your drawing. <clears throat> Watch out in level two. You could have a base clef or treble clef in your question. When you read the notes, you gotta be careful. It's the beginning ask you to identify the notes in treble or a base clef. It's a very, very important. Don't mess up your reading. Don't uh, uh, miss your points by reading the, the treble or a bass clef wrong, okay? Okay, for this one, you don't worry about it. Two shops from circle of fifth. From circle of fifth, two shop is D major. Quickly write it down. A lot of students mess up here with three flats here. Three flats, it's not E. If you write down E major, then it's a four shops. So with the three flats, remember E flat. Why it's E flat? This has an E flat. If you write out E, it's wrong. In the key of E flat major, you don't play on white key E. Because the key signature, you play E flat instead of E. From here, four shops. Circle fifth, four shops. E, e major. Any sharp sign next to it? No. Okay? Good. Continue. This is in treble clef. And what's the question say? Draw an inharmonic note. Harmonic note. Beside each of the following notes, use whole note. This scratch paper is so small for you to read. So what I would do, I will use my keyboard diagram for you to understand better. Okay, so you can see it's a big one. Now this is A sharp. Write it down first. A sharp. A sharp here. This key A sharp. Next one is a B flat. They are same black key. So A sharp is also named as B flat. So A sharp is the harmonic note of B flat. B flat. B is on line three. Carefully join the B. B note. And then give a flat sign. B flat. Good. Next one, E flat. E flat is here. E flat. And then this is a D sharp, same key again. E flat, same key, D sharp. So we need to give a D and sharp sign to stay to the left. Okay, next one. In treble cuff, this is A flat. A flat, A flat. The key is G sharp. The inharmonic note is G sharp. There is no other note, no other answer. That's it, okay? Good. Draw the following interval above the given note. Use whole note. It say above, right above. You don't draw by side. If you say, um, draw the following interval by side, the giving or beside the giving notes, then you draw here. You draw here, but it's above. So this is, see, all the words, all the letters here is uppercase. That means we need to give spatial attention. That's the keyword of the question. Now we need to uh, complete the following intervals. 
Seventh, this is no A. A to A is octave. Seventh, A one step down to G. So G is right here. Again, you need to give above the giving note. Draw the note above the giving note. Not to the not by side, not beside, okay? Next one, this is note B. Count it B, C, D, E. Or B, C, D, E. Okay, that's one, two, three. Third space, above. That's the answer. But I don't do well. I don't. I don't draw well. It's a little bit too big. So, E. Make sense? Good enough. Okay, C, D, E from the third, right above. I want to remind you. You might have been asked. To do a second, this is something extra. C is here. D, if it's second, you don't draw D here. You cannot also draw D here. Okay, they are overlapping. No good. So C here, right above, you have the note online and attach closely to the C. Like that. This is the D. From the in uh, from the interval second from C, and then this is a D stay above the base C. Okay. Anyway, this is something else, but I just want to remind you. Good. Next one. Draw the stem stems using the correct stem direction and length on the notes below to turn them into half note. Now. How uh, you say like uh, stem direction again? Quick review if this is this is a musical staff, if we have a note on line three as well as notes above line three, we give the stem down to the left, down to the left, down to the left. If this is below line three, the note below line three, we give upper stem to the right, to the right. Okay. Now let me tell you this. Okay, it say length. If you draw a note like this, oh, therefore it's too long. The picture is ugly. It's imbalanced. So. You just draw, this is a note on line, right? Another line, another line, another line. Pretty much three lines long. If this is a space note, then you know what you do? One space, two space, three space. Good enough. So either three horizontal line, three horizontal lines long, or three spaced long. Good enough, okay? So try to be, this is a note in space. And then above line three, we need to give down stem to the left. So one, two, three, cool. This is in space again. Continue, one, two, three, good enough. So one, two, three, okay? This is also one, two, three, like that, three space. This is line note F. One, two, three. We're gonna give stem down here, then to the left. Good enough. Make sense? A little bit longer, slightly shorter, fine. But just cannot be like this. <laughs> That's cute, but uh, it's wrong. Or, no way. Okay, those are bad. Good. Next one, draw the in indicated whole or half step. Steps above or below the giving notes using the whole note. So you don't worry about the stem. Now this is a whole step above from the keyboard diagram. Whole step, G sharp. It's here. G sharp to A, one half step. An A to A sharp, another half step. So you write down A sharp here. You don't want to do B flat, okay? You don't want to search for in harmonic note, just go directly G sharp to A, A to A sharp. So it's A, 
shop here. See that? Now, half step below. This is C. C, go half step below, which is B, white key, B. From here to here, no block in between. So this is a half step. That's all. You don't give any shuffle flats. Next one is F. F is whole step below. Oh, F is tricky. F is here. Whole step means two half steps. So F down to E is one. E down to E flat. Another one half step. That's half step from F to E, E to E flat. So two half steps. Answer is E flat. You don't want to draw D sharp. Don't give it in harmonic note. That's it. Next one, aid extendo size. Extendos need needed to create the A major scale. Extendos. What I mean by extendos? It means it happens uh, temporarily, or just show the sharp or flat line right next to the notes. Now, with this section L. You need to definitely use the circle fifth. That's why if you have done this, it's going to be easily figured out, okay? Now, starting the note A, it says A major scale. A the extended sign needed to create the A major scale. When you play A major scale, how many sharps or flats you need here? A major with three sharps. Then you need to find out the first three sharp sign from the order, not whatever. So fat cat gets, write it down here. A major, you carry F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. Now you put F for a sharp sign. This is in bass clef, so F sharp. Next one, C sharp. And next one, G sharp. That's all, that's the answer. Cool? Next one, draw B flat major scale using whole note and extentos in triple clef. B flat. What you need to do, starting the B first. You can either draw down here or active higher. However, let's do this. B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. In the key of a B flat major, B flat major, B flat major. We need a two flat sign. What this two? B flat and the E flat, the first two flat signs in this order. So B and E, write it down. B flat major, which you need to carry B flat and E flat. Is there a B? Oh, yep, yeah. the first one is B flat. Once the first one got a flat sign, the last one also B, you need to put on B as well. I don't think that you write the scale from B to A. I think they ask that you to finish the entire scale from B to B, active higher B. So you need to give two Bs, okay? I'm sorry, you need to give flat signs, two flats to both B. Next one is E flat in treble clef. E is here, E flat. That's the way you complete B flat major scale. Next one, draw the following triads in the root position uh, using the extended sign where needed. This one is super, super complicated for level two students. We still need to uh, use the circle of fifth. So let me just do this quick so you can see both. And we can finish quick. Now, you say E flat major triad. Triad means chord. Triad means the three notes go from bottom to the third, uh, from the first, from the root, I'm sorry, from the root to the third, then to the fifth. So if they are line note, then will be all line, line, line. If they are space notes, will be all space, space, space. The bottom one we name as the root. The second one note here from this note to that note, skip the line note. So this is the third. Uh, this is the fifth. These three space notes or three line notes form 
triad. Okay, now it's a three notes chord. Next one, very important E flat major triad, starting the E flat. Then it's line note, another line note, another line note, done. Then in the key of E flat major, we have a B, E, A, three flat signs. Is there a B flat? Oh, yes, here. So you don't miss out, okay? You need to refer to the key signature and find out the flat sign in the key of E flat major. E flat major, you carry first three. One, two, three. B flat, E flat, A flat. Then you check the triad. Is there a B flat? Yes. Is there a G for the flat sign? No. So don't worry. And the E? Yes. So the E flat major triad is actually formed as... Uh, formed with E flat, G, and B flat. Next one, D major. D, white key, D, then space note, space note, space note. This is D major triad. Now, D major triad here from the circle fifth, you got to carry two sharp sign. Two sharp sign is F sharp and C sharp. Now, let's check. Is there an F for the sharp sign? D, F, A. Yes, there is one in the middle. Is there A for sharp sign? No, the first two is F and C. There is no C in this chord. Then that's the answer. Continue, F major triad, F major, F, A, C. Cool? F major triad carry one flat sign. The first flat sign is a B flat. Is there a B flat? No. Then that's the answer. You're done. Good. Section M is typically tricky. Oh gosh, very tricky, very difficult, very challenging for your level. So those are the points you could miss easily. Okay, those are questions. Um, so just make sure you learn it. Good. Next one, section N. Identify the following triads using Roman numeral one, four, or five. First of all, doing this one, section N. Again, very important and it's difficult. When you do this one, you need to, first of all, if you want to find out the Roman numeral, first thing you need to identify the key signature with the four shops here from the circle of fifth. Four shops is A flat major. Write it down on the top. I suggest you write it down on the top. You give extra information to the answer. Nobody blamed you. As long as you give the answer to the blank correctly. Something else, George won't say you are wrong. So write it down. This is the key A flat major with the four flats. Now you may continue A here. Draw the scale. A, B, C, O, D. This is scale degree one, two, three, four. The D here as the fourth scale degree in the key of A flat major is the root. So fourth scale degree based on the fourth scale degree note D and you build up the triad. So it's called four. You need to write uppercase four in Roman numeral like this. If you are going to write like this, that's fine. I prefer you give a little, little horizontal line as the way of printing. Otherwise, just give a big horizontal line. If you write like this, you look like a lowercase. So I don't prefer that, okay? Even you draw five, big, huge, they could still tell that's the lowercase. Next one, no sharp or flats at all here. And it's in base clef. So this is note C. Now, with no sharp or flats, that's the key of C major. And this first scale degree at the root, which is C. Oh, okay, then that's one. That's all. Easy. With the one sharp sign, that's the key of G major. Am I right? G major with one sharp sign, one sharp sign. That's key of G major. Starting the G in bass clef. G is right here. Let's count. What's the D? G, A, B, C, D. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. Five.
done. These two are difficult for your level, so I hope you understand. I hope you did right. You need to follow the steps I show you. Next one, question O, P, and Q are also challenge. Okay, now, write the missing time signature for the correct place on the staff below. You know what? This is only one note. We sell them to see such a short major with one half note only. But you can tell this is a complete major, so you count from here. This answer missed double bar line at the end, so you might want to add it down. Uh, I add double bar line. Now, don't worry about the first one. Actually, this example is starting up an upbeat, so it's only one one small bit. Don't worry about it. However, count all the bits in a in a. Um, complete major, complete major. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Woo, six bits. Continue, one, two, three, four, five. Missing one bit here. Six to the front. Make sense? Now, six bit per major from this complete major. You know it's six bits per major. And then half notes get one bit. That way you got a six bits. So you write eight at the bottom. Watch out. The time signature need to stay. The top number stay on the top two space of musical staff. And then bottom number stay at the bottom two space uh, in the musical staff. Just like this. Okay. This level tells you mostly on time signature. 6A, 9A, or even 12A. We seldom play the music like this. However, no matter what, when you have F note gets a bit, this F note, that's one bit. So I'm gonna write down here, no matter it's 6 8 or 9 8 or 12 A time signature, F notes gets one bit. And then if this asks you to uh, aid one bit, then the rest is as rest. Draw like this. What kind of note receive two bits? Quarter note. Why? Because the quarter note may divide into two as notes. So one is one bit. Two as notes are two bits. So a quarter note may divide, uh, may receive two bits in time signature 6A, 9A, or 12A. Make sense? It's different from time signature 4-4 four, four, or 2-4 four, or 3-4. Now, a quarter note receive two bits. And what kind of notes, what kind of rest receive two bits as well? This. And as a quarter rest. Okay? Quarter note receive two bits. Quarter rest, uh, quarter rest also receive two bits. Next one, what kind of notes receive three bits? It's actually quarter note plus a little dot. Okay, that's three bits. This is a quarter note plus another small half note. That's why you have three bits. Then for the rest, again, dotted quarter rest. Cool? What kind of note receive six bits? Let me tell you this, dotted half note. It's equal to dotted quarter note. So you can also, uh, anyway, for the rest, if it's entire major rest, you just give a whole rest, hanging down from line four, whole rest for the entire major rest. Okay? Those receive uh, like a entire major uh, rest, but this one here is actually six bits. Good. Now continue. Back to question. I just quickly review you the time signature six a nine eight and twelve a. There could be also three eight, and you give you count the notes, the bits like this exactly the same. Okay. Now complete each major by drawing one rest. See that. Not only you need to understand the note, but also the rest. So let's count. One, two, F not get one bit. One, two, something missing. Then continue, I will go backward. 
नाइन एट सेवन सिक्स फाइव फोर सो आप ऑब्वियसली बिट थ्री मिसिंग ओनली वन बिट व्हाट काइंड ऑफ नोट्स व्हाट काइंड ऑफ रेस्ट रिसीव वन बिट इफ इट्स नोट इट्स आफ नोट लाइक दिस इफ इट्स रेस्ट दैट्स इट आफ रेस्ट ड्रॉ वन टू थ्री थर्ड स्पेस देन दैट्स इट मेक्स सेंस The co uh the at rest stay in third space and pull down. This is bit next major one two three. I don't know what is this up to bit nine nine eight seven six. That means you miss bit four and five. Okay, two bits quarter no receive two bits. So I draw a quarter no here. Which note should I give? I don't know, but a quarter note. That's going to be wrong answer because the question asks you to complete the major by drawing one rest. So what you do? A quarter note equal one quarter rest. Again, starting line four here. Give a slide to two, then little tail. So you don't want to draw huge big, just in between second, third, and fourth line. Again, a quarter rest is like this. Okay, we just need one. So one more time, I erase both. A quarter rest in time signature nine eight receive two bits. Since we miss bit four and five, good. Okay, sometimes the question could ask you one note. This one ask for you for one rest, so it's important for you to understand from this picture. Next one, complete each major by drawing one note under each arrow. You can choose to put your note on any note name, pitch, and it must be the correct type of note value. Note value to complete the major. For example, if a whole note will complete the major, then you can write a whole note under the arrow on any pitch on the treble staff. You can draw whatever the note, but it, only the note's value has to be accurate. How many bits here? Twelve total. I don't know what it is, but let's do this one first. One, two, three. Four, five, six. That is a quarter note. Receive three bits. So seven, eight, nine. This quarter note received two bits. Ten and eleven. Oh, twelve bits total. We miss only one bit, which is the twelve bits. So whatever. I how about I give you D. And watch out the stem rule. D is high note. I give down stem. Then only half note gets one big woo little tail. If you draw a note, for example, down to the second line, how you draw the little tail on the low G? Still to the right. High note with a down stem to the left. I am sorry, still to the right. The tail. The flag still go to the right. No, you don't see anything like this. Oh, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I never draw notes like that. But you see lots of uh, like a uh, um, commercial stuff. They do this. That's totally wrong. Okay, those are on a like a musical person. They don't know how to draw the notes. Or you see this. Oh, so weird. No matter what, the flag. No matter it's upper stem or lower stem, it always stay to the right. Okay, now back to the topic. There are totally eleven bits. We miss only one bit, and he asks you for the note. No matter what, ever the note, uh, the pitch, you just give an F note with one flag. Okay, now here, as we mentioned earlier, this is. Uh, time signature twelve a. Half note receives six bits. Ha I'm sorry, that is half note. May divide into two dotted quarter note. Each dotted quarter note is three bits, and two dotted quarter note are 
six beads. So this is one, two, three, six beads for this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What else we miss? 10, 11 to 12. So three beads missing. In time signature six, eight, what kind of three bits? What kind of note receives three bits? As what we just mentioned this. Dotted a quarter note receive three bits. Again, dotted a quarter note is equal to, uh, I'm sorry, one quarter plus half of the value, this one. So half the value is half note. This time signature in either 3A, 6A, uh, 12A, or 9A, whatever, half notes, I'm sorry, quarter note, may divide into two half notes. Plus this one here, total is three half notes, so it's three bits. Okay, so dotted a quarter note received the three bits for this answer right here. We need to fill up this major. There are three bits missing, so all for only one note, you write down the answer, dotted a quarter note. So whatever the pitch you or whatever the note you write down, it's okay. But uh, dotted a quarter note with a black head, no, no head, and stem, one space, two space, three space. If the note is on space, three, them, three space long, or on line, three lines long. Okay, with a little dot, don't forget. The dot cannot be uh, like a placing to lower spot. That's not a dot. You see most of the dot stay above, slightly above, even it's by side, okay? But above the line note, uh, the, the, the note, the note head, like that. <clears throat> see, this is space note. It stay, stay right next to the space note. It could go a little bit higher. That's fine, okay? Good, those are very challenging. Three, uh, three bits here. What kind of note received three bits? It's dotted a quarter note. Okay, so always remember you need to count. Right now, your, the way you count at the bottom of the question, then you can figure out how many bits missing or what kind of notes or rest receive the bits. Next one, easy. I'm gonna finish in like two minutes. A tempo. Tempo means speed. A tempo means, ooh, back to the speed, right? Which one is that? Return to the original speed and tempo. Of course, out the E. Next one, mezzo forte. Mezzo forte means medium loud, right? Where is that? In the case, play louder? No. Very soft. You know what? I will do this too, if you are confident. Play short and detach. That's staccato. Where is that? Staccato. A. Next one, indicate the play notes uh, an octave higher or lower. Whereas octave higher sign here, that's B. Next one, gradually slowing down. Oh, retard, that's C here. Next one, moderately louder, which is mezzo forte. D, mezzo forte, here. Next one, you can see uh, here, repeat from the sign to the finale, sign like this. So sign D, S, Fine, D, S, Fine, F, go to here. Next one, indicates to play the note louder. To play the, oh, that means only that note gets louder. So it's G, goes accent here. Next one, very soft, pianissimo, which is H here. Next one, indicates to hold the note without playing, uh, without playing it again. Oh, that means a tie here. Next one, gradually getting softer, decrescendo, which is diminuendo, J here. Okay, I hope you got a chance to review, recheck everything again, okay? So you need to know those very quick. Level two, those questions from M all the way down to Q are very challenging. So I hope you understand. If not, you ask me again during your piano lesson. Good luck.